Let me now illustrate the concepts of blur and image restoration methods that use blur effects and try to reduce it um, using a Python notebook. So I'm going to use all the packages that we are used to. Uh, and additionally, we are using FFT from SciPy. So the degradation function is an important step uh, or when, when designing methods for image restoration. I have to know or at least estimate this value or this function h in order to use it in many methods um, for image restoration. There are methods that compute this h function from the image directly. They are called, often called blind deconvolution. However, in here we don't cover this type of methods and then we concentrate only on, the, on methods that assume that we have knowledge about this function. I'm going to use the Gaussian function to study this problem here. Let us then build a function to create a Gaussian filter to simulate the point spread function. Note that what the image formation considers is a function that spreads the energy of a point to surrounding pixels. So it is indeed what a filter such as the Gaussian does. Let us take a look at the function. So it basically has in 1D, it has this shape. So by changing the parameter sigma, we can control the dispersion of the values. A low sigma means that the values that are not spreaded or very uh, or spreaded by a um, low margin and a high value of sigma indicates that the values are, are spreaded to different um, um, neighbors. Note how the blue plot distributes the values in a region that's much more concentrated. You can inspect and read everything on the notebook later. So this uh, filter here, or this function here, produces uh, efficiently a Gaussian filter in 2D. Let us print that. So this is the, the Gaussian filter that we use with sigma 0.9. And this is a symmetric function describing a radial dispersion. The central value is the highest one, and the remaining ones decrease exponentially. This function is normalized so that you sum to 1. This allows the energy of the image not to decrease. This means that we are not making the image um, uh, darker in this case. Let us cre create a larger filter, in this case with si uh, size 9, and plot its, its heat map in order to show the radial fusion, diffusion pattern. So note how um, it behaves. So I can increase here to, to see uh, how it, uh, it changes. So if I start increasing this, we will note that it does has, have some effect uh, locally on, on the origin here, but only by increasing sigma, I'm, I can achieve a more um, a, um, more intense diffusion. Let me go back to the original values. Okay. Ooh. All right. This is just to illustrate. Let us then simulate blur by convolving an image with one of the functions that we use, one of the Gaussian functions. We are going to do that by um, computing the Fourier domain. So we are creating G by multiplying F with H. Note that a F and H must have the same size, so we are going to use a zero padding to perform this operator. Um, this is basically what the function does, this np.pad here. We are going to compute the Fourier transforms I can or cannot show the spectrums here, so we could do that. Just to show the, um, the difference in the, in the spectrums, in this case, the spectrum of the image. Let us apply the, um, we 
could use FFT shift to visualize that. Okay, so this is the spectrum of the, um, the logarithm of the spectrum of the image. And this is the, um, the Fourier dom uh, domain of the uh, degradation function that we are using. So this is the original image and on the right hand side we have the degraded or the blurred image. Note how the edges are smoothed out here. And I almost lost here this, this, um, this detail. That's this fine detail here. Let us try to use an inverse filter. Remember that the inverse filter can be computed by only dividing the um, observed image G with the H function. And what we are going to do is just divide it and see what happens. And yes, we were able to restore it. See that I'm taking the actual um, degraded version here. So I just divided it uh, by the, the H function and I was able to restore the image perfectly or um, very um, similar to the original one. So the results of the inverse filter are really good. However, this assumes a noise-free scenario and a very well-behaved H function. Let us see now two cases in which this would not work. The first one is a is a ill posed problem, when H does not have an inverse or its Fourier transform have zero coefficients or near zero coefficients. So we cannot perform the inverse filter directly. And the noise case, when the image is corrupted by noise, and then this term should be considered in the equation it would cause an amplification of the noise since the content is most in the high parts or in the high frequency regions of the Fourier spectrum. So let us first create a new function h to alter the, some, some of the content to contain zero and near zero values. So values below 0.5 I'm going to define to um, 10 to the power of minus 4, a low value, very small value. And for values smaller than 0.2, I'm going to set it to zero. And let us see what happens. Oh, now I'm going to compute the degraded image using this um, degraded function, degrading function. And the second case would be to add noise to the image. So just a regular uniform noise. Now we have those two images here. So those are other two degraded images, one with a new filter that's not, uh, not well behaved and a noisy image, which is a, um, an image with blur and noise. Note how it, those two images resemble, actually resemble this one. They are visually not very dissimilar to that one. However, as we are going to see, in order to use the inverse filter, when we try to do that, so I'm dividing here, the first thing that I get is a warning. Divide by zero encountered in two true divide. So it encountered many divisions by zero and then the restored noisy image is just noise. So it became just noise. I don't have anything else in the image. So it's impossible to use the inverse filter directly. So I can now um, try to use the pseudo inverse filter. Remember that the pseudo inverse filter replaces v uh, values near zero with some constant value. I use it 10 to the um, power of minus four for a small value. So I'm going to use a threshold um, 10 to the power of minus 3 here to apply to the inverse filter. So I'm replacing all values below this threshold to this threshold and perform the inverse filtering with both images. 
let us uh, then see we, we can see now that this image i would uh, i was able to restore this image into a um, acceptable version of it that's a, a bit sharper than the other one although it has some artifacts however for the noisy image look how it uh, how it behaves uh, it behaves uh, very um, um, in a very very bad way in this case it, it is still amplifying noise so it's not very good for this scenario so this allows us to at least compute an estimate of the image although i, I didn't get uh, errors from division by zero however this uh, reconstruction is still unacceptable for the noisy image although in this one i get something suboptimal but i do have in this case i don't so i have to uh, use other more complex or more um, complete filters such as the winner filter and the constraint least square filters in these scenarios let me change here the value of the pseudo inverse for you to see the effect so if i increase it note how it changes the way it behaves because i'm um what i'm doing is that i'm i'm enforcing um, some uh, specific value for the coefficient so it starts to produce artifacts in all over the image i could uh, also decrease it Um, yeah however in this case um, I, I have to compute everything again because of the HC here was altered in the first place so yeah okay so there you go so this is um, a nice uh, it's a suboptimal but okay representation and then I'm now I'm going to increase the values and see what happens yeah we had the same effect so even changing this parameter here we were not able to um, to make it better and to have something acceptable for the noise scenario another uh, possibility is to first remove or try to re reduce the noise in this image and then apply um, the same method it should probably have better a uh, better output